Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Pokes it away in his own end. St. Louis gains control of the puck. Move to the middle. And he takes a shot. Makes a save with the glove. St. Louis will go to work here in the offensive end. Quick feed to Dunn. Straight up the middle. Here they come. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. From behind the net, looks to break out. Quick pass to Dunn. Passes it to Sundqvist. Lays into the body on the play. Let's it go. Oh, what a stop by Subban. Here's a short pass to Bortuzzo. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. And now it's grabbed by Nylander. Shot, and he makes the save. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Gives them nothing in front. Puck grabbed by Scandella. Passes it over to Blake. Moves it to Bozak. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Off the left wing and into center. Centering pass. Whoa. He scores and he's up and running this season. Look at the relief on his face already. He hasn't even played many games, but you want this as early as you can. Man, the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. St. Louis has jumped on the board first with an early goal here. Their coach was just talking to them about, don't take your foot off the pedal. Up one, let's make it two. The blue is going to hold the puck off the draw. Moves it quickly over to Peary. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. And it's a quick pass to Sidora. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Dishes it to Scandella. Takes it to the front. His reflexes on display tonight. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Man, awesome save there. He was deked out of position, but he's able to get back and make the save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Shens won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Centering pass! And that one's broken up. Great block there. The Blackhawks take it along the wall. Oh, a violent collision against the wall. No matter what you do, that's never going to feel good. Here's a shot. No room for that one to get through. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. It's a two-on-one. Oh, what a heads-up play to poke it away. The Blues have it against the wall. Quick feed to Hoffman. Great save by the goaltender on that redirect. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Great defensive effort with the stick. Solid hit on that play. Quick pass to Hoffman. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Takes a shot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. debrink has got it along the board. Thunderous hit. You can hear it all the way from up here. Lots of times I miss playing, James. That's not one of them. I like I'm in a suit right now. That one hurt. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dabrinkit. Play whistle dead because of an offside. This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice. But the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. Past the midway mark in this period, the Blues have taken a 1-0 lead. O'Reilly's one possession. Here's a short pass to Tarasenko. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside.
They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Cuts into the paint. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Puts it up front. Here's a shot. Oh, puck doesn't get there. So crowded in front of the goaltender. Takes the pass. Here he is in front. Snaps it on net. And that's blocked. And he loses control of the puck. Now a quick pass to Kane. Lays the body. St. Louis walking that line. Moves it to Perron. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Musa quickly over to scores. That's Ryan O'Reilly. This is a really good place to get lost on the ice. The defensemen are down low defending. The forwards are worried about the point. If you can find this high slot play, you often are going to get a one-timer. St. Louis now has a two-goal lead as they make their way back to center ice. Have to feel pretty good about themselves and the period that they've played so far. Now stay aggressive to the intermission. Puck scooped up by Falk. Stays with it. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Taken by Seabrook. Nylander's swooping in on the attack. And he regains control of the puck. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Janmark. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Whoa! Scores! The Blackhawks strike! You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. Chicago's cut that lead to one as they get back to center ice. They must look at this game completely different, James. They should, because now with just half of this first period left, there's lots of time. You only trail by one. Great pass from off the right side. Trying to get back on the attack now. There's the whistle penalty coming up. And he's going to get two for hooking on the play, Ray. He should. I mean, he gets his stick out parallel to the ice. He gets it across the player's midsection, and that's kind of a red flag for that penalty. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. This is where your big boys get to really earn their money. Out on the power play for the very first time tonight. Great save by Subban. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. They get it out of the defensive end. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick feed to Fulk. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. He's such a good, complete player. Now he's got 199 goals in his belt. You know he'd love to round that off to 200. Here in the late going of the frame, Chicago's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Quick pass to Taves, and makes the save. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. To his teammate! Chicago's penalty killers get a hold of it. Gets it out of his own end. Taken along the wall by Schwartz. St. Louis plays it along the wall. Rocked him in the open ice. Across the line from center. Big play inside the defensive zone. Hoffman's taking it from his own end. Directs it on over to O'Reilly. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go, and he had to absorb this huge hit. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. O'Reilly's won the draw. Here's a short pass to Shen. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Good clearing attempt to breathe. From their own end as they get a fresh set of legs here for this man advantage. St. Louis gains the zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Fires one, and that's broken up. Let's it go. Chicago's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Blues have it behind the cage. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. 
And that one's turned away. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Denies him again. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Tron, he ties up his opponent. And the puck has moved to a safer spot on the ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a shot. Denies him in front. Sharp reaction save. Chicago's back to even strength. Really aggressive work by the penalty killers. They shut that power play down without any danger. Puck knocked loose after that hit. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Receives the pass. Slides the puck to Smith. Nothing doing on that. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it to Taves. Nice poke check. folks has been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. There goes the whistle. No extra attacker able to get there in time. The Blackhawks are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Now uh, You see he hangs his head and heads towards the penalty box. It's always a... Frustrating penalty to take. The Blues send their man advantage unit out once more. The coaches have been on these guys to get more traffic in front of the goaltender. We'll see if they can do it. The Blues win the draw. Oh, slick work with the glove by Subban. O'Reilly's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. Here in the late goings of the period, St. Louis is in the driver's seat. They lead it 2-1 in what has been... Scores! And a milestone goal for him on that one. When you get to 100, it's kind of a nice feeling, and you do start to think ahead. Here he is, 100 past that. Congratulations on his 200th goal. they win the draw cleanly but they kept everybody away from the shooter he had plenty of time to tee that up the blues have been the better team so far in this first period they've had multiple scoring opportunities and as a result have the lead attacker out on the ice and play finally comes to an end here's the officials the blues are going to serve two for tripping here i guess it's a little bit of bad luck james i mean he's reaching for the puck he's in position to try and keep the play moving but he trips him up power play unit comes out for the face off The Blues take possession off the faceoff. On their heels, trying to clear. And manages to clear the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Fires it on net. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. Puts it on net. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Hey, congratulations on your 200th goal. He's sitting here staring up at the clock, looking at it. What a great feeling. The centermen glide into position. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Right up front! Textbook stop by Gillies. Big stop by the keeper. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Gets a hold of the puck. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Just the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Bortuzzo. That's the horn, and period number one comes to an end after a very entertaining 20 minutes. Hey, fans, don't forget to pick up your team.
calendars. They're available in section 144 at the team kiosk. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Chicago's power play is still intact as this period is now underway and they take possession. Moves it to Dabrinkit. Quick feed to Taves. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Here he is, wrists it on net. And that shot dies in traffic. Gillies has got it, and he'll slow things down. Anytime you've got the lead in a game, you want to make sure that you're in control of the way the pace is played, and that's a good play to jump on it. The Blues are in the lead in large measure because of the number of hits that they've had in this period. They've controlled the play. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. St. Louis has a 3-1 lead, and their fans who made it down for this one are loving it. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Shaw's carrying it ahead. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. The setters will glide into the dot. The Blackhawks win possession here in the open ice. Drills them. The Blues have possession shorthanded. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. And sends it just out of reach. Loose puck battle along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. Centering pass! Comes up with the stop. Gillies has had a terrific save percentage tonight. I think, James, because he's read the play so well. He's on top of the shot before the shooter takes it. Hey, do these guys know they can skate around each other? Each time they come together, it's been another body contact. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Referee singling the late penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Thomas is going off for hooking. This is why coaches are always on you to keep your feet moving. As soon as you stop, now you have to reach out and try and slow your opponent down. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Chicago's got it and they're on the attack. Stones up with the blocker. Hey, they say greed is good. Get one, get two on a five on three power play. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Quick pass to Strom. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And manages to clear the zone. Dabrinkit's got it behind his own net. Takes the feed. Nice zone entry on the left side. The Blues will kill off a few extra seconds now. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Slides it diagonally to Suter. Rocks him. Gets the puck in deep. The Blues have it behind the net. Here's a short pass to Bozak. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed from his own end. First pass is key. You can play with pace if you have that. Answered the call there. I loved making that save in road hockey. The old blocker stop. The Blackhawks haven't had a lack of scoring opportunities, but they are still behind on the scoreboard. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Nylander. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. Hey, if you got another chance, let's see that again. Well, look at that big hit again. Momentum changes when a play happens like that right there. Still plenty of time left in this frame. St. Louis is enjoying a 3-1 lead to this point. Chicago's got it in the offensive zone. And that one stopped. Oh 
Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. The Blackhawks win the faceoff. Oh, what a stop! Scrum along the boards. St. Louis has possession of it now. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Good hit to pump him off the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. The Blackhawks will play it in their own end. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Moves it over to Shaw. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Puck slid down the ice. The Blues are back to even strength here. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. And he stands tall in goal. Again, the denial by the goaltender. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Looks to pass it to Pareko. Along the half wall with the puck. From the point, they take control of it. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Look out, a two-on-one. Big he scores! Jumps all over his rebound and puts it in. Oh, Shooter puts his own rebound away. That's a nice play. But man, the goalie burnt this rebound out. Made it way too easy for him. Chicago's got new life here in this second period, Ray. It's amazing what a goal does. The energy on the bench changes. Guys can't wait to get on for their next shift. Moves it to Sanford. Not able to connect. He got all of that hit. Quick pass over to Debrinkit. The Blackhawks played along the wing. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Sanford's got control of the puck in the corner. From point blank! Too much traffic in the lane. And he slides it quickly to Debrinkit. Takes the feed. And that puck leaves the zone. Play whistle dead because of an offside. I need to take another look at that. I thought there was room to get by. Clearly, I was wrong. I'm glad I don't have to take the hit he just took. Still lots of time left in the period. The Blackhawks still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Moves it quickly over to DeHaan. Walmart's got it against the boards and makes the save. Dishes it to Tarasenko. Laying the body. The Blues take it along the wall, and they'll dump it in. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Takes the feed from the left side. Quick feed to Yanmark with the stop. Hey, I'd like to see that again. I don't know if he thought he had more room than that, but he doesn't. That's a big hit right there on the body. The Blackhawks have had a lot of things go their way tonight, except for the score in which they trail here in the second. Chicago's won the draw, and they'll go to work with the stop. Puck battle along the boards. And some good footwork to kick it away. The Blues take it along the wing. Maintains possession. Looking to set up offensively. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Move to the middle. Here's a shot. He scores. I think he almost gave up on this. He can't find the pocket. He just stands there. This thing beats him cleanly. He never saw it. St. Louis looks a little more relaxed on the bench there, right? What do you see? Yeah, they should be. I mean, they've worked hard to get themselves into this position. Now you want to put the pedal down, try and stretch this game out, and put it away. Tries to get it over to Schwartz. Scandella's got it in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Bortuzzo. Blocked in front. 
Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Strom. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And that goes off a player. Here comes the sentence. The Blues don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the pocket. Sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down and he's got to go to the box. Chicago's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. When you don't get many power plays, you really have to make them count. One goal could be a big difference maker. Clearing attempt. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice. Get off the ice. Get some new people out there. Chicago's playing it through the neutral zone. Suter's got it along the wing. Denied by the goaltender. It hasn't always felt this way, but it really has that big game sort of feel tonight. Uh, this is fun. When you come out, the building's full for warm-up, and then it's packed for game time. Best time to play. Well past the midway mark of this period, St. Louis continues to lead by a pair of goals. Trying to dump it out. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Puck picked up by Shaw. And he slides it quickly to Dabrinkit. Puts it towards the net. And no one's blocked. Grabbed along the board by Kane. Takes the shot. And there's the save. Gillies makes the save and gets the puck into the corner very efficiently. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck leaves the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Picked up along the wall by Dabrinkit. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Right to the middle. Here he is in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Picks off the feed. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup from their own end, and they'll get a fresh set of legs out there on this man advantage. Levels them with the hit. Slides it on over to Bozak. Moves it to O'Reilly. Sends the pass over. Denies him on the slapper. And now he moves it quickly to Pareko. Couldn't complete the play. Nice pass. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the officials stop the play as that one goes into the bench. Gillies holds his position, stays in front of the puck, and makes the stop. That's a good scoring chance. The Blackhawks have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. Chicago's won the faceoff. Quick shot. Comes up with the stop. Past the halfway mark of this period, it's 4-2. Bozak's won the faceoff. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. Taves looks around. Slides the puck over. And he denied that opportunity. That's a solid check on the play. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Sends it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. On the doorstep. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Skates across the blue line. Loses his balance on the play. Moves it quickly over to Strom. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Sanford's going to play it against the half wall. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Slides it over with pace to Sanford. The Blues are on the attack. Here's a chance right in front. Turns it away. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Oh, this looks just as good from the goalie's perspective. A second time, he makes the save on the three-on-one. 
The Blackhawks seem almost a little frustrated out there as we near the end of the second period. They've had plenty of chances, just cannot convert. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. And the puck skips away after that move. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Stones him in front. Off his stick. Save made by the goalie. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. Here in the later stages of this period, the Blues lead it 4-2. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Blackhawks are in transition. Quick feed to Keith. Off the tip. Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save. Quick pass across to Shen. St. Louis takes it across the line. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Quick pass to Keith. Takes the feed from his netminder. Big time defensive play. Scooped up along the wall by Suter. Strong defensive effort. St. Louis has the puck. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. And that's blocked. The Blackhawks will play the puck from behind the net. Shaw's got it on the offensive end. The Blues have it against the wall. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Slides it to Bozak. Nice zone entry from the middle. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. He was locked in there. Oh, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. The Blackhawks have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Period number two is in the books. There's been no shortage of offense tonight. Present your ticket stuff from tonight's game and receive up to 10% off of your meal at Bill Burger Family Restaurant. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. One to go. Third period. They're ready to drop the puck. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? St. Louis was talking about having a really structured defensive game. Well, that went out the window. You're in a high-scoring one now. Just keep pushing forward. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone faceoff. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. 4-2 is the score. St. Louis will go to work here in the offensive end. Too much congestion in front. Great feed from the left side. Take it along the wall by Schwartz. Let's it go from the slot. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Subban. Moves it to the offensive zone. Takes a hit. He goes, he might have a step here. Cuts to the paint. Denies him. Oh, excellent stop by the goaltender. He read that perfectly. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. Chicago's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they cannot convert trailing early in the third. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. They go on the attack through center. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Can't find his man. The Blackhawks played along the boards. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Seabrook stick handling in his own zone. Hammers a shot. Big time stop there. Big save by the goaltender once again.
Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it, put it outside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Thomas has it in the defensive end. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Takes a shot. Scores! The power play had cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. This is a perfect shot placed up over the high blocker side. The goaltender can't get a stick on it. He doesn't get his blocker on it. He's down in the butterfly, I think, a little too soon. St. Louis has to be feeling good about the effort tonight. How could they not, James? I mean, it's been perfect for them. They've got a big lead, and they're just trying to milk the clock to get home. Strong's one possession. And now it's grabbed by Keith. Offside is the call that will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Samuel Blay, and by number 18, Robert Thomas. Time of the goal. Lots one of hockey left to be played seconds. in this period. St. Louis really applying the pressure offensively up by three. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Picked up along the boards by Kane. St. Louis has it near the wall. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Quick feed to Debrinkit. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Stop that one. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Interference is the call here, Ray. If he moves his feet just a little bit more, he's in better position. The Blackhawks once again send out their power play unit. Hasn't been many opportunities tonight on the power play, but here is one. We'll see if they can take advantage. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. And they manage to clear it. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Takes the pass. The Blues will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And the puck clears the zone. Grabs it in his own end. Great stick work with the steal. The Blues have done an outstanding job anticipating where the puck is going to go. They've seemed to be one step ahead all night long. Stopped by the goaltender. He scores! What a counterpunch shorthanded! Teams are talking more and more about being aggressive when they're down a man. This is the result. Every once in a while, you're going to punch one through shorthanded. Nice play to follow his shot. He gets the initial shot follows it in tight and is able to beat the goaltender with his own rebound. St. Louis continues to steamroll them here in this third period. Goal, goal, goal. It seems to be every couple of minutes they celebrate another one. And a puck check knocks the puck away. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Keith. From Sunday, they get into the attacking area. Puck grabbed by Falk. Taken by Thomas. Trying to get it out. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Moves it to Shen. Shuts him down. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. With possession along the wall. Chris shot from the slot. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Excellent stick work on the play. Puts it to the front of the net, and he can't find his man. He scores! That give them some hope? Maybe, kind of, sort of? They've really given up a ton of goals tonight. The good thing he one-times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot. And he beats him clean. Chicago's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. The Blues win it. Puck scooped up by Dunn. 
feeds it to Fulk. Nice dish from the left wing. St. Louis plays it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Tarasenko. Denies that opportunity. Walmart's got it across the line. Moves into the slot. Denies him on the play. There's another stop. Under all sorts of pressure, trying to protect the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Perron. Here he is in close. Denies him. Subban's able to get out and make the save on that great A chance. The Blackhawks have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Tees him up, denies him in front. The centermen glide into position. The Blues take possession off the faceoff. And that one's blocked! Chicago's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Receives the pass. Tries it to the crease! Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Picked up along the wall by Crew. No one home on that play. Quick feed to Strom. The Blackhawks move it in. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. St. Louis has it in their own zone. He got all of that one. The Blues carried along the wall. And they can't connect. Scooped up along the wall by Zadorov. The Blackhawks looking against the half wall. Club save and he handles it with ease. We can run these highlights from the beginning of the game, the middle period, or even here late. Body, body, body has been the way this game has been played. Arizona's up next on the calendar. Do players ever look ahead to games? I, I think so. I mean, in particular, when there's one that stands out, it's a ex-Stanley Cup champion or the team you sure. used to play against. Those ones always carry a little more pop. And now it's over to Shaw. Great poke check on the reach. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Gilles blows the whistle, and someone is off to the box. Wrong place, wrong time, I guess. Sometimes you got to say, I'm in the wrong spot and let the guy go, but he tried to help out, and he gets nabbed for interference. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Time to get back to work on a power play that's already scored tonight. Don't change much. Keep working away in the same manner. Puck move back to the neutral zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Across the line and on the attack. And now he tries to get it across to Taves. Puck picked up by Thomas. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. St. Louis plays the puck from the corner. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Blackhawks will get some fresh legs out there as they continue this power play. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Handles the puck. Sent into the offensive zone. The Blackhawks look to start the transition game. Quick pass to Suter. Moves it around along the half wall. Big time stop right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Chicago's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Keith. On the backhand! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Takes the feed. Drives to the sweet spot. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Blackhawks have it behind the net. Up along the wing. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. 
takes a shot, makes the save. Here's a short pass to Keith. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Dumps it in. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. Chicago's got it in the offensive zone. The Blackhawks fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Ah, another good penalty kill for them, James. They've done the job start to finish when they've been shorthanded. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. He's it up from the point. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. We thought this might be the way this game would play out. Very physical. Right from the very beginning of the game, these two teams do not like each other. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. And now it's grabbed by Dunn. And it's a quick pass to Hoffman. The Blues play it along the boards. And now he angles it across to Shen. And they fail to go tape to tape. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. That opportunity is rejected. But he came out and challenged a good save. We'd like to thank you fans for all of your support. The Blackhawks still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Manages to hang on. Puts it in deep. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Moves the puck over to Kane. Let's it go. Gets in front of it. Battle along the boards. St. Louis will play it from behind the net. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Big save. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Tarasenko's got the puck along the wing. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. Angles it over to Strom. Down the right side and into the zone. Nice defensive robbery on that. And now he moves it to Dunn. St. Louis moves it ahead. Slides it across to Sanford. The Blues take it along the wall. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Hammers one. Off the puck, stand into the back of the net. Just a quarter of an inch keeps that puck out. It makes the post more directly. It stays out. As you're a shooter, that's a great sound. Not many goals scored on the slapper anymore. I guess just from the point on the power play. But to walk into one and hammer one is a good feeling. The Blackhawks still have a big hill to climb here, but they got one back, Ray. They're going to have to get their D up into the plate, take a couple of chances. One is not going to do it. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Schwartz. Uses the force on that hit. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Snaps it on net. Gives them nothing in front. Puck grabbed by Hoffman. Pareko's got it in the defensive end. And he regains control of the puck. Takes a shot. Oh, what a blocker stop by Subban. Pretty solid stop, and the puck goes into the corner to safety. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. The Blackhawks really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. And there's the insurance marker much needed for them on this night. It's amazing how many times a guy misses an empty nest, but this one he puts between the pipes. Now well, that empty netter should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough. Chicago's had more shots on goal, but yet they run into a hot goalie. They trail late in this third period. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And 
the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. O'Reilly's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. They fight for it along the boards. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. From the left side, they gain the zone. Boom! Man, sometimes you just can't get out of the way, but for him, it's been all night. He's been on the receiving end of these types of hits. Picked up along the boards by Keith. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Taken by Taze. Moving into the attacking zone. Here's a chance. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Moves it to Keith. Hammers one from the point. Denies him with the save. Another stop by the goaltender. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. The Blues finally get to raise their arms in victory in what felt like it would never come. They started to play better as the streak rolled along. They had some clunkers, but it looked like they were starting to get it together. And here they are, a win, and the streak's over. And that'll do it. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.